welcome to Georgie's Gun Dog at Trails for Tails Dog Training. Okay, yes, thank you. So, in this video, we're going to talk about how I train a settle. And I'm going to use Jimmy because I haven't taught Jimmy a settle. And you're probably thinking, oh, so why are you doing the training video? I'm very fortunate in, in why I haven't really taught him a settle is what I do with my dog is they usually go out training they used to sitting around with me and, and that's sort of their settle um they're not one to come to like loads of different places or stuff like that and you know they don't really particularly visit people's houses and anything like that but settle is still an important life skill for a lot of people okay because people say to me i want to be able to take my dog to the pub I want to be able to go camping with my dog, even though they still do all the training. I want to be able to settle them here. And some it actually benefits if in a group, they can settle off in the back. Depends on your dog. But a settle's a really good one to teach them to switch off. It also helps when you're at home. Again, if you've got a dog that is struggling to settle and you want to teach them to settle on a bed or settle somewhere, how do I do it? Okay, so it's a big one that gets how do I switch that dog off? How do I settle? Like I said, they are used to because they're so busy when they come in they know to settle in which that's always been my rules from puppies where about from six o'clock you either go into your pen or you go on the couch and you, you settle down that's the rules there's no playing after six o'clock there's no messing about everybody black because obviously when i'm only a lazy bugger right but it's also a great skill to teach about some dogs struggle with the sitting up some might prefer to settle down just, and and you'll find some dogs will even put themselves in the settle once they learn it because they're like right well this is where we're calm and I, I know this cue and i can manage it and when i first teach i teach and i'm going to teach on the field here because that's where i'm filming but i have a little chair like this and i will just get the dog into a down position i don't think i've even taught jimmy down so that will even be better so you're seeing dogs that have probably not even done this type of thing that's why i'm using jim on the lead i also once they're in the saddle i will put my foot on the lead but not tight this also helps that dog learn that when the foot's on the lead you just settle down a minute okay um and sometimes i do do that when i'm stood around with him actually if he's sat i will put my foot on the lead and sometimes he even knows that to switch off it just sometimes takes that pressure off my hands or anything like that and he goes okay and i can if i need to do something they know that cue of foot on the lead um but this is a really good one to skill you can practice it everywhere uh another little bit before when we're out and i'll talk you through it as we're training it um will be about what to do when you're at home and stuff like that right so let's get on with it this is how i teach a settle let's go okay so i have jimmy here put in a sit um if i was at home you could have a nice little bed with you on the lead and like i said you'd fade the lead out eventually but you can also do this without the lead um but like i said this is a good one you can take to the pub with you or at home with you and you have a little bed or something and you'll do the subtle training and then when you are finishing the subtle training because people always watch this first and think god that's a lot of food we're going to use Yes, it is, but you'd phase it, you'd get less with the payment. And I always settle them down and then I finish them on a chew. And usually by the time they finish the chew, they fell asleep after it anyway. They want to rest. maybe have a drink and have a rest, okay? So what I'm going to do is I've got some food. Put my foot on the lead. But you can see it's not tight. And I'm going to put Jimmy in a down. Which he needs to learn as well. So I'm going to feed between the feet and at the moment I'm just feeding halfway down at the moment just getting used to that position so he starts to offer in there we go we're going and I just feed between the paws yes come here I'm just going to sit him up a bit closer Wait for him to drop a bit more. Good lad. Good lad. Yes, Jim. Yes, good lad. He's just starting to click a bit. Just want that body to go down. 
Here we go, he's dropping now, so I'm going to feed him. Keep feeding him on the floor. Placement of reward is important. If he thinks right, it's coming on the floor, there's no point me getting up. That was my fault for delivery, as you can see here, Jim. There we go, so he's on the floor now. And now I'm gonna just start going rapid fire at him at the beginning. I'm just feeding in between his legs, always on the floor, there's no point to come up. What I'm looking for eventually will be a hip roll, which was about to come in. Um, don't want a play bow, Jim. But good to know I can teach it. I'm gonna wait for them to drop, so I'll reset him back down. There we go, good lad. And I'm letting him know he's getting it right. And as you can see, it's keeping him on the floor. He's not in a settle as such as yet, but what I'm doing is just rewarding the floor, but he's starting to look a bit more relaxed in it. Slowing down my payment, he's looking at me, but staying in position. Keep pain in there, thought he might get up. And then when he does, I'm just gonna reset him. That's it, good lad. Like I said, he's never done this, so you're seeing him learn it straight off the bat. Is it? Is that on? And then you'd, you would put it on cue as well, right? So once they start dropping and they're really strong at it, you'd say settle. That's better, good lad. Good lad. There we go, there was the hit roll. So we've got up again. That's fine. And I'm going to re-put him in. I want him to learn that the value is on if he goes down. Yes, good lad. Got a nice little paw, relaxed paw like that at the front. And you can see I'm slowing. I'm going to see if he offers now. Sometimes it's worth holding back to see if they offer it. Because if they offer it, then you know you're halfway there. And I'll give him so long, then I'll help him again. Yeah, good lad. So he went nice a lot quicker into it then. I'm using him though because these are the same struggles you'd have with a dog who's not done it before okay also think about the food you're using if it's too valuable you could blow some dog's head oh lovely good lad think about as well that's another thing I want us to talk about the settle is is think about what you're paying for look at the body language. I want a relaxed body language. I don't want them to be massively wagging the tail or really on alert because I end up paying that and then some of them will bark back at you or make noises for the payment to come. What I want is that relaxed, excuse you, that relaxed body language, okay? And he's looking really relaxed, okay? He's in the sit, he's used to doing this type of thing in the sit. But I wanted to show you what I've been looking for is getting him down, looking for a hip roll. But you can see he's not agitated at me. He's still relaxed. He's still settled. It's just I want that that down when eventually I will be teaching it. Because I am probably going to, there's a few things I need to teach him for anyway. So that's why I thought I'd use him. 
like I said, just get him into that down. There we go. Bang. And now he's relaxed. Look at that. Brilliant. Just in that settle. You can even stroke a bit. And then I'd feed him with a true, right? So they're there in that settle, coming down. And he's looking super relaxed. I shouldn't have touched him there, but he is. He's looking relaxed. I was slow on delivery and I've run out of treats, but that's fine. And I just want him nice and relaxed there. That's what you want to end up with, that nice relaxed dog. Okay, he's in the down, he's really chilled. You can see even though I phased it a little bit, the food's quite fast here. He's now staying in that position because I've built value in it and that's what you do or you finish him on a chew in the house or if you're out at the pub, you'd settle him into that position, let him chill out. Here you go, nice and done. And then, like I said, finish on that chew. He's settled, but you can see him now. He's looking really relaxed, actually. He looks like he's falling asleep to me here. But he's relaxed, he's in that position, and he's going, right, okay, it's valuable to be in there. And I'm just giving him the hand to just stay in there a bit because he's got that strong. He knows that hand cue anyway. But he's relaxed. He might be having a little sniff now, but he's nice. His hips are beautifully rolled there. I'm really chuffed with this. It's a nice one to see you me working through it. So that's how I do the set. Like I said, eventually, you can get up. Eventually, um, like I said, put it on cue. You'll get longer with it. They all get longer with it. I keep your foot on the lead. It also gives me a bit of space, but they don't go anywhere as such. Oh, bless you, good boy, aren't you? Um, and build it up. Some dogs will, you can only do so long and you'll build them up on it, but you can do it at home, at the pub, out about, even at training, go in the corner somewhere while you're training, settle them down, relax and teach them that everything's not on fire. You know, if you want to go and sit at the bench while, after some training or before some training, settle them. This is another way, good way to get them in a good headspace as well, because they're going to be calm. If you settle them for a bit, then go train or do this in a calming circle, get them ready. You know, there's loads of things you can do. So that is teaching a settle.